Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pace Studio on the Road, presented by our friends at Show X. We're here at the beautiful Cutting Room in Midtown Manhattan, and today we have the pleasure of streaming with Emily King. Emily, it's great to see you. Thanks for doing so it. So great to see you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We're here. Yeah, all five of us are here in this giant room right now, and it's, uh, I mean, it feels like a, a wonderful coming back together. You're one of the very last artists to play the previous iteration of the Pay Studio with all the tapes and everything. It shut down oh, like two weeks so afterwards. I lucky. I, I love that space. Yeah. And I remember, you know, we were all like, what's going to happen? And here we are. I mean, I'm just grateful that we're here. And this was one of the last shows that I played before quarantine was at the cutting room so that's full circle all, all the way yeah yeah and you were actually the last large show that i saw was at the beacon theater that god's love we deliver that the love love rocks benefit you were there? i was there yeah i got covid there <laughs> no you did not <laughs> Yeah, that's a fact. Oh. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have advertised that fact, but no, that is really no. what happened. The show was delightful. It was the same day that they that the world decided, like, okay, this is real. Yeah. We, everyone was still so unsure, but, um, you know, I always carry Purell. If you tour <laughs> with men, you have to. So, no offense, men. <laughs> well, we disgusting. are. <coughs> We're about to hear... <clears throat> <clears throat> a lot of your music today, uh, two songs that I don't think exist in a recorded version ever, anywhere. We're going to hear, hear, hear two brand new ones and one that came out over the summer. What's, what's happening first today? Woo, you made me nervous when you said that. Okay, <laughs> yes, these are new songs. Um, this first one is called Easy. And uh, I hope I remember, remember the words. That's how new it is. You ready? I know that times have been tough and everything's changing, the world just spins around. You had a break in your heart and I tried to find the pieces on the ground. I was still running from feelings, hiding from pain that I didn't know how to face. There was a comfort in you, comfort in me, we found a hiding place. Some things are worth repeating, oh, we're what we thought we needed, oh, but we keep running back up the hill just to fall. It should be 
crazy It should be easy It don't have to be this hard It should be easy It should be easy It don't have to be this hard It should be easy It should be easy It don't have to be this hard It should be easy It should be easy It should be In 25 years. <laughs> I know, man. Uh, me too. I get nervous. We've done this 2,000 times, and I get nervous. Crazy. I mean, Why? yeah, because we, we, we're rusty, man. It's I need to remember oh what God. those cameras do and how things plug into each other. It feels weird to yeah. be here, but it also is extremely humanizing, man. This is what I know how to do. This is what you do, and not being able to do it forever and ever is weird. Yeah. And I yeah, feel I feel it's... really good right now after that song. So thanks for doing it. Thank you. If wow. Yeah, singing like new music and and for human beings. And also when you're home you find yourself multitasking. I'm like watching The Crown while I'm practicing. I don't recommend it. But here I, I mean, The Crown though. You do I, recommend The Crown. No Gillian TVs. Anderson was delightful. No, I do recommend The Crown. Yeah. But I don't re recommend practicing and watching TV. Yeah. Yeah. Defeats the purpose <laughs> of practice. Um so what, is this uh, the new batch of songs? Uh, the first, what, what were you playing today? The first and second songs. Have these been? Are these like hot off the presses? Did these were these just written? Have these been around since like the beginning of quarantine times? Or where where are you at in the development of of these songs? These I just wrote a few weeks ago, and they're hot off of my couch, <laughs> and they have not been released. But I am planning to release them um i've been i've been going to the studio my friend ben kane oh i'm sorry that's right. that's a microphone <laughs> <laughs> my friend ben kane shout out to ben kane um at electric garden studios has been letting me record there safely and is that here in so is that in the city that is in brooklyn mm -hmm. and so it's been like so nice to get out of the house and just to record like the old-fashioned way and so i'm you know hope, hoping to release some of that stuff soon nice well do I'm, I'm glad i'm also very cold i should <laughs> can you see my nipples <laughs> no your uh, guitar is blocking both of them <laughs> okay good <laughs> and the wide shot Ooh. i mean the close-up shot cuts off right yeah. there so yeah you're okay. you're totally covered perfect yeah, man. Well, I'm glad that you had the uh, the opportunity to do that, and that songs are flowing out of you, and you're you're being creatively active. I mean, having a having a purpose and a place to go is so much. I mean, it's important. You know, you can go is, go insane at your it house. It is so important to have somebody who is you know encouraging you, and and just to say to send you a text like, hey, let's do it maybe next week, and it's like, wow, okay, I would never have done this if you know, if you hadn't mentioned it. So, I mean, yeah, we, our connection to each other is so important and yeah, it's great to be here right now. Yeah. Thank you for doing it. And uh, we're, we're about to share more of your brand new music with the internet. What's coming up oh second today? We, I should take off my capo. And you nailed the shoes off vibe was definitely the right, that was the right off. move. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is great. <laughs> Feels very, very homey and perfect. Perfect vibe for the day. I see singers do it sometimes, and I wonder, you know, um, it feels good. Keller Williams, man, that guy never wears shoes. Oh, really? Michael Franti too. He showed up to the do, studio. Do in they those have shoes. nice feet? Hmm? Do they have nice feet? Uh, yeah, I. Yeah. Yes. Because I have a bunion, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm not barefoot. <laughs> but this is nice. It feels grounding. Um, I might put my coat on. Would that be weird? You can do literally whatever you want. The platform is yours. The space <clears> is yours. If we turn on the heater in here, it's going to get too loud for these no, delicate I, songs. I should let everybody know. It's not the space. It's like an exceptionally cold day in New York City Dude, today. Yeah, like mid-20s like, or did, something. Did you hear it's the wind last outside. night? It was like yeah. insane. So this blouse was a good choice for sure. <laughs> um, I'm going to put on a sweater. Yeah, yeah, of course.
no apologies needed. This is, um, yeah, every, everybody is getting back accustomed to, to how any of this stuff works. Um, we've got a good crowd tuned in. The internet is happy. I can't see the comment section right at this moment, but I am curious about where everybody's tuned in from. I would imagine we've got a New York audience, um, but uh, uh, I also know that we're being beamed out to all four corners of the earth. So perhaps New Zealand and, uh, and uh, Rajasthan are tuned in right so now. So cool. Don't know. Yeah. Amazing. Tech. Who comes up with this stuff? Not me. Al Gore, evidently. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to sing this song. Here we go. This is uh it's called First Time. It's so new that I... Can I start over? Well, it's happening right now. Yeah, definitely. No, dude, if Adele can do it in the middle of the grand... This is what I do at home. I just do it over and over. No, this is the right vibe. And we'll also, we'll cut these into individual songs. Oh, my God. So it will exist on its own as well. That's, that's great. No, I, I literally finished... I mean, I'm not going to make excuses. I just... I'm going to stay here as long as I can because I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> you can hang with us all day. We've got four of these happening today. You're welcome to just oh hang God. in the peanut gallery. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go, everyone, outside at home. Hopefully not outside.
Close my eyes Like the first time Time's a charm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Emily. That's beautiful. Oh I enjoyed God. it very much. The internet enjoyed I've it very much. I've not had to be Just... vulnerable in like seven months. <laughs> yeah, I mean, does it does it help or hinder the vulnerability when you're playing to? I mean, there are four <laughs> of us on this side of the camera in a 400-ish capacity room. Is it is yeah. it easier to be vulnerable or more difficult to be vulnerable in a in a space like this? It's oh, it's like so much harder. It's, it's, uh, you know, there's no wine. There, there is wine. Do you want a wine? <laughs> there is there's wine. whiskey. There's, we're, we're ready. I just didn't. Do you there's want a whiskey? There's no muffins, which I normally eat when I'm crying. <laughs> and no, I think. We did not get your rider. If we had gotten your rider, there yeah, would have been muffins and whiskey. Muffins. Yeah. yeah. The bodega style ones that come in the little bag. I get a discount at the deli next door. We can go get them right now. <laughs> I grew up on those. How do they stay fresh? they don't um yeah no if it's thank you for allowing me this opportunity to you know get outside of my comfort zone yeah and it i mean the th it goes it goes both ways i mean we're you know we're doing this periodically on the road we did some of these from nashville some of them from cambridge and oh, now we're here nashville. so the studio is kind of hopping around where there is a high concentration of, of artists that we want to work with. And we're yeah. just sort of putting these things together and figuring it out the same way that everybody else is and just trying to make it work by any means necessary. That's so great. It's so wonderful. Yeah. I, and everyone is being super safe and super distant. And Yeah. 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 We're doing our best here, just like everybody. And um, we. so I know that uh, these songs have, you've got a, a fresh batch fresh off the couch that you've just shared two of us two songs with us um and i know you released one earlier in the summer that was on that AT, the ato compilation um silence is not an option uh parentheses turn it up was the name of the album when yeah. uh, when racial injustice conversations were really ramping up over the summer and really coming to the forefront of everybody's consciousness mm -hmm. um that was that song was written in response to what was happening across the country and across the world at that time um can you talk a little bit about uh about the feelings and the reasons behind behind creating it and sharing it on that compilation yeah that was such an interesting time it was i feel like it was the biggest like collective, one of the bigger collective moments that we've had around racial injustice that I've ever seen in my life. And I was in New York City with my mother and I, I remember we stepped outside one night and we looked down Houston Street and this huge amount of people, well, first we heard these like bang, crash, it sounded like explosions. And then we see everybody come in and they, they're like, they got like, bats and they're breaking all the windows at down Houston Street, like every single window. And I was just like, wow, this is electric. Like, maybe this is going to make a change. Like, you know, um, it was just, as you know, such an incredible time, such a sad time. And my label, ATO, they actually wrote me that week and, and asked me if I had a song to contribute to their compilation and I I was like really looking for one and I did I didn't have one I felt you know embarrassed that I, I didn't have anything but um I remember just feeling all the feels you know and just just so much sadness for everyone who was a victim all throughout time this, this country is quite the history and you know Anyway, long story endless, I sat down and this song came out of me and it just wouldn't leave me alone. Like it drove me crazy. I got a headache. It just like kept going in my head over and over again. And, and it was like the fastest song I've ever written. 
maybe because it's also only two chords that might have something to do with it <laughs> but um i was just thinking how it must feel to have pain that you ex oh i'm gonna cry Oof. that you express to someone and they don't believe you now how am i gonna sing now <laughs> So that's what I wrote this song about. It's called See Me. This has been great. It's uh, you've always been generous with your time uh, coming to visit us at the studio, and hopefully it's hopefully it's not another year before we see you next, and we'll figure out what the next iteration of this thing looks like. But you're welcome a million percent of the time here. So thanks for sharing. Thank the music. you so much. Thank yeah. you everyone. Thank you for listening. All right. Nice see me. See, see me is it's out in the world right now on that ATO compilation, and we'll very much stay tuned for for details on when the new music is uh, is available. Thanks.